All right, Shalom. This is a hard one by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say Ka Halayim, La Yahawa, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakah Kodash, Ma'ama. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim and Agwatim and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Yeah, man. Um, woke up this morning. I was waiting for these damn, uh, what they call Thanksgiving. Thanks killing holidays to uh pass. And um woke up this morning, December what's it, December first, December second? Yeah, December second. And uh the Dow crashed two hundred uh more than two hundred points. All right. So uh actually it's at about two seventy right now. And that's major, man. Especially since the uh I think the Feds lowered lowered the interest rates again. You know, um, the other day, <clears throat> or they plan on doing it, and then you have the, the talks with China and America with Trump um, going sour as far as the tariff um, agreement. That's going south. They not, you know, it's not looking good, and the market is looking horrible. Um, so I'm gonna read this title, man. This is one of the topics. It says S and P 500. All right. It says posted biggest decline in nearly two months. Dow drops 250 points to kick off December. All right. And that's why I believe this is going to be the uh, December to remember. Because <laughs> it's set to drop almost 40 to 70, uh, 70 points. And it might drop. It might. Hey, man, you, you know. You know, we, and it's true, you're not into calling out days, you know what I mean? But just for fun, man, it might happen on uh, Christmas or what they call December 25th, right? Or what they call Christmas, which is re really a uh, pagan holiday, man. Nim Nimrod, all these pagan idols were uh, set up on, on those days, man. All right? Dealing with the Christmas tree, you know, those le do lessons on those and, uh, those topics in uh, you know a few days. But anyway, back to the point. S and P 500 and the Dow drops more than 250 points. All right, and what is that? That's the, that's the market's crashing, man. That's that's investors around the world losing faith in the markets. You have um, billionaires that are placing bets against the market for for gold to go up to four thousand. All right, and if that happens, hey, the dollar's done, man. And they betting on that between December and March or April, around you know, January, February, March, April. Yeah, that's how it go, like April or something, which would be springtime, man, around the time of the Passover. And this is all all spiritual, man. So, um. Excuse me if I'm a little scattered, man. I'm in traffic, but I, w I wanted to get this lesson off. It's on my spirit. Um, but yeah, man, you got a lot of people that was that's that been scoffing this year, man. You got a lot of people had a wicked, wicked spirit on them, man. And the scriptures say the wicked gonna wax uh, worse and worse. All right. Now, check this out. All right, because this could be a, what they call Black Monday, just like 1987, man. You know, um, but it says Monday's losses on the first trading day of December came after a strong performance last month, right? Because the, uh, they were propping up the market with, with these uh, possible trade talks between Trump and China, and um, with them hoping that the Fed was going to raise the interest rates a little bit, you know, or lower. But I think they decided. I think they decided to lower them. I gotta look into it um, once I get posted. But I think they decided to lower the interest rates again, and by doing so, um, they basically saying what that they they uh they they don't believe that the futures of the market of America is going to be increased. All right, by doing so, they're saying, hey, we don't believe that you can pay this interest. You know this rate, so they lowered. And that's losing faith in um, 
the dollar, losing faith in the market in America, all right? But if they raise the interest rates, they're saying the dollar is booming compared to other currencies, and it, you know, and, and, and it has strong value. But when they lower the interest rates, they're saying the dollar is losing strength. See that? So it's a signal. And they got all these rich bankers uh, betting on it, man. So they're going to make them rich, man. And you have the, uh, what's that called? The um, the repo market to where they uh, dumping money to these banks and these investors to keep them from pulling all their money out of the market. That's basically a banker's holiday, man. Paying off all the investors first. So when, so when the markets crash, uh, the poor or the, the, the basic middle class and the poor are left uh, in poverty, man, with nothing. So they're going to try to move everybody over to what they call crypto coins or the blockchain system and set them up for um, the RFID chip, the market of beast. And that's what all this is leading to, man. And you got a lot of our people, man, that's, that's got pride on them, man. And they, they, they faith is in the system. And um, it's not wrong with working to make your dollar, you know what I mean? And uh, being a businessman, all these things, but to boast and to scoff at the spirit and scoff at the work and scoff at your how about you, how was shy, scoff at the prophecies, man. They condemn themselves, you know, and and they have faith in their riches, faith in their, uh, and, and a lot of these, uh, Jake ain't even rich. They just got faith in their jobs and in the system. This is Proverbs 22 and 1. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. All right. So having a good name, what? In the, in, in the, um, in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. It says what? Uh, and that's rather to be chosen, you know, being honorable, being a moral person, man. A just man or, you know, or, or, or a sister in this truth. And that's rather to be chosen than being rich, man, having money. Because a lot of these people with money, they they, they, they heart is just dark, man. You know? Um, eating all these abominable foods, and they boast about it. You know, and people that's doing the work, they, they call you poor. Even if you have a job, they don't care. They just look at you like you're poor. But uh, hold on, man. Just, just, these people driving crazy out here. But, uh... It says, verse one, it says, um, and loving, and loving favor rather than silver and gold, man. All right, being in loving favor. True. So being in favor is what? Being blessed in this truth. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy, prophecy, because the times are at hand, right? So those people are favored. That's what the word blessed means, to be favored, man. It's rather, it's way better to deal with wisdom than what? Silver and gold, all right? Which is what? Um, the basis of money, because that's what the dollar is supposed to be based on originally, you know? But now, um, since 1971, when they, the Nixon shock, when they separated the gold standard from the dollar the, um, the dollar has been nothing but what manipulated over and over again since the 1913 man alright since the Federal Reserve was really created, established they've been manipulating it alright so now they're, they're um, about to do away with that system they want to they want to move over to a um, Electronic based system. Based system. They ready. They ready to crash the economy, man. All right. So it says the rich and the poor meet together, but Yahweh is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished, man. See that they pass on and are punished, and they don't see the judgments coming. They don't, they don't see it. Or they see it and just don't care, man. All right? They see a storm, they prepare for it. They see danger in the streets, they prepare for it. But the judgment of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, um, they're blind to it, man, because the Lord um, set them up for judgment. All right? 
So it says what? But the simple pass on and are punished, man. They're going to be set up and left in the punishment. The Lord is not going to protect them. The Lord is going to leave them in it. But guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai promised to protect and to guide and to cover his hopeful elect, his service that's been pushing this whole time, man, and doing this work. And we come into those times, man, where, where the Lord is going to reveal himself. And that's the blessed part of it, man. That's the beauty of it. Not worrying about people getting destroyed and all that. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see this person getting destroyed. We, that, that shouldn't be. Yeah, you want that. You want um, you want to see Yahweh Bashim Yahushai get his revenge. But the focus is what's going to happen to the elect. What's going to happen to the ones that are delivered. All right. And that's what you want to see. All right. Um, and what happens to the wicked? You don't want to be around to see that. <laughs> you want to see it, but he said, well, only, only with your eyes shall you, shall you see the destruction of the wicked. All right, but in the midst of that, the Lord said he's going to protect his hopeful elect. Because you may talk to some people on the street, and you'll be teaching, and they'll be like, well, you here too. You're going to be in it too, but this is the difference. All right, the Lord said what? A uh, prudent man foreseeth the evil, meaning he watching. All right, like the scriptures say. And warning the people, man, wiping the blood off their hands, and the Lord promised them the uh, reward for that, the covering and protection. So, regarding His word, this is Second Ezra chapter nine, verse seven, and it says, "And everyone that shall be saved, and that's what we want to be, right? Saved. If you talk to these church folks, they say they saved already, but they're not, man. All right. Now you can be delivered from your uh, your sins by believing in Yahweh Shai." All right, having a covering of his mercy and a promise of salvation to be made perfect and having the laws in your inward part. All right, and, and having charity, which covers a multitude of sins doing his work. But to say that they're saved, man, we're in the, we're in the middle of uh, Jacob's trouble, man. Jacob's trouble is at hand. All right, and all hell is about to break loose. The judgments are, are just starting to... Um, uh, show show their face. All right, the prophecies are coming to pass. Now it says, and every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. See that by his works, man. And that those men, their households will be delivered as well. All right. Um, and it says to escape, man. What the snare of the fowler, the martial law, the. the the trap where they want to uh, put a chip in you, man, and control you. All right, and steal your resources from you, and take your food, and, and separate your families, and things like that, man. All right, it, it, that's the reason the um the housing rates are so high. That's done on purpose. That's manipulation of the markets. It's a Ponzi scheme. So it says what? All right, and this is the only way out of it, man. You, you we stuck working in the system. You got to work. He that doesn't work shall not eat. You're going to have to work. You know, the Lord uh, either have a business, um, you know, um, being be into capital or into, um, uh, I always forget the word, man, but sweat equity, you know, uh, working, working for pay. Or you can have capital, which is uh, trade, you know, um, buying and trading, barter system. Or you can have, um, you know, a set of uh, assets, which would be um, even in, in the realm of capital, but also a set asset that weighs what? Uh, uh, capital, uh, money flow. All right. To where you have um, a business set. Even You can even have a domain on the Internet now. It's something that just uh, where you can have it registered and it makes money for you continually. And that's uh um that's when you're in a different tax bracket, all right? To where you where you can possibly not be taxed for that. So anyway, um for like more, you know, owning houses and stuff like that. So you gotta you gotta uh work to eat, because that's the way the system is set up, man. If not, you starve out here. You know, you most high bless you. But you gotta be on the grind and hustle. Or have some type of you know, income. But it's just about where is your spirit, man? You know, it's, it's that's your riches in heaven, your future. 
You know, like they got the futures of the market. Well, what is your futures and what is your mind praying for, or hoping on? Are you supposed to be hoping for the kingdom? Because that's what's coming. All right. If you're hoping for this place to keep going, then the Lord is going to take you down with it. Allow you to fall down with the Titanic. Okay. So it says what? And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. Man, so it's about the belief. All right. And the faith. And it says, uh, shall be preserved. And that's the point. Preserved, man. They so say what? Um, to be hidden, right? Didn't he say that? So it shall be preserved from the said perils. And uh shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and with my, within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning, man. So it got to be predestined for you to be delivered from this coming destruction, man. From this coming judgment. All right. To be sanctified, set apart, holy in the spirit. That's what separates us. All right. This is the word preserve. The Lord said he's going to preserve his elect, man. So what? He said, uh, what? To keep safe, man. To keep you safe. That, what, that Psalms 91. To keep to keep, preserve, guard beforehand, man. Guard beforehand. So set the angels up and give them charge over you to keep you in all your ways beforehand. It says to keep safe, to protect, man. All right, preserving you, keeping you as you are. Let me get this one real quick, some cinnamon. Syn synonyms. All right, these are synonyms for uh, preserve. All right. Because it says you're going to be hidden, right? And it says uh, to, to, and to escape. It says to, to conserve, to defend, to, to freeze, to keep, uh, perpetuate. All right? I already have a plan set up for you, man, of protecting you. I already have it written in your story, in your future. Protect, retain, safeguard, save. Secure, store, sustain, uphold, to bottle. All right? So the Lord going to uphold us in these days, man, in a time of famine, in a time of collapse, in a time of a market crash. So it's nothing to fear. We should uh, be prepared and hope for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to uh, deliver us.